Hello, today we are going to talk about modal verbs. Modal verbs are using us to give different meaning for the sentence that we are speaking at. For example, can is going to give you the ability. For example, permission. Can I go outside? May, it will be for permission, but it's not so pretty strong. May I go to the bathroom? It could be yes or it could be no. Must, it's talking about obligation, something that you really need to do. You must to be on class at time. You must to be here with me on time. Shall, intentions, shall I bring my notebooks right now? Will, it's more about desire, more confidence, more in the future. I will try to do my duties next day. O2, it's more like a moral duty, advice, recommendation. Need, something that you have to do it. I need to do my homework. Be to or have to. Almost similar. It depends on the circumstances. I have to do my homework. Will is more like a wish. I would like. I will do my homework. If I have time, should is more talking about recommendation. You should to have all your things ready before we start class. And used to, it's when you are repeating an action in the past. I used to have all my things ready, but now I don't know why not. Modal verbs, we are going to use it to express idea, possibility, intention, obligations, and necessity. It's important the information that we need to take care when we are using it. That means they don't change. They don't use S depending on the pronoun. I mean, it's not I can or he can. No, no, no. All the time it will be the same. I can. He could. Modal verbs may question by inversion. He can go becomes can he go? And modal verbs are followed by the infinitive of another verb without to. So they can help us to find ability, permission, advice, obligation or possibility. If you think like a thermometer, it will be like for those that are not really strong to those that you really need to do it, like an obligation. Mobile verbs can use, can use it in a different way. For example, with can and cool, both are asking for permission or possibility, but they are using in a different time of the day, for example, in present or in past. Mustn't or don't have are using for different things too. For example, mustn't is something that you must not do it. And don't have to is more like a advice. So now let's go to practice.